Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. This video will give you a brief summary of the IELTS Academic Writing Test. It covers all the basics you need to know, including why choose IELTS Academic, important facts, the test format and the skills assessed. You'll find links to all the related lessons, including many sample questions and answers, in the notes below the video. So, why should you choose IELTS Academic? IELTS Academic is required by universities and professional registration bodies. You should take the academic test if you want to apply for a place at university or other higher education institution in an English-speaking country or in a non-native English-speaking country where courses are taught in the English language. The academic qualification is also generally preferred by professional bodies in English-speaking countries and it's required for registration. This is particularly the case in fields such as medicine, nursing, pharmacy, accounting, engineering, law and teaching. It's different to the IELTS general test which is for people wanting to work in or emigrate to the UK Ireland, Australia, Canada or New Zealand. Now for some important facts. For task 1 you should write a minimum of 150 words. The time allowed for this is 20 minutes. And for task 2 you should write a minimum of 250 words and the time allowed is 40 minutes. This gives a total time limit for the test of 60 minutes or 1 hour. It's also important to know that task 2 contributes twice as many marks to your overall score as task 1. Next we look at the test format. For task 1 you are required to write a short essay based on information contained in one of the following. A bar chart, a line graph, a pie chart, a table chart, maps, a process diagram or multiple graphs. There are links to lessons on each of these, including sample questions and answers, in the notes below. In the essay, you will have to describe, summarise or explain the information in the graphics in your own words. For example, you may be asked to describe and explain data, describe the stages of a process, describe how something works, or describe an object or event. For task 2 you must write an essay on a topic of general interest. The essay will be a response to a specific point of view, problem or argument that will be stated in the question. There are five types of task 2 essay. Opinion essays, discussion essays, problem solution essays, advantages and disadvantages essays and double question essays. Your response to both tasks should be written in a formal style. Follow the links in the notes below the video to see lessons on each of these, including sample questions and model answers. It's important to understand how your essay will be assessed. As with all elements of the IELTS exam, the IELTS academic writing test is marked according to four marking criteria. These are task achievement, which is the appropriate response to the task, coherence and cohesion, which is the ability to present a well-structured essay, lexical resource, which is the ability to use the appropriate vocabulary and to use it correctly, and grammatical range and accuracy, which is the ability to use grammar correctly and to use a range of grammar forms. Each carries 25% of the marks. The two parts of the academic writing test are designed to assess your ability in different skill areas. The assessment criteria for any specific question will depend on the type of task you're asked to complete, but here's a general overview. Don't worry if it seems a little overwhelming. The lessons I'm giving you links to contain all the help and step-by-step -step guidance you need to write high-scoring essays and letters. For task 1, your essay will be assessed in relation to your ability to achieve one or more of the following. 
Organise, present and possibly compare data. Describe the stages of a process or procedure. Describe an object or event or sequence of events. Or explain how something works. Your Task 2 essay will be assessed in relation to your ability to achieve one or more of these criteria. Present a solution to a problem. Present and justify an opinion. Compare and contrast evidence, opinions and implications. Or evaluate and challenge ideas, evidence or an argument. In addition to the sample questions and model answers in the lessons I've already mentioned, I've added links below to other lessons for the academic writing test. Most of them include sample questions that you can use for practice and model answers to learn from. So please make good use of them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.